or away, and uh, Phil will come to you first, home or away. Oh, I think going first, I'll go home. Who won a league championship winner's medal in 1978 and four years later scored in the European Cup final for another club? Okay. 82, played in the European Cup final yeah. and scored a goal. And I've got it. Yeah. Peter Whiff. Yes. Oh. Oh. Well done. Uh, Jane, home or away? Oh, home, I think. <laughs> Which Russian pair were world ice dance champions between 1994 and 97? Which mm -hmm. Russian couple were world ice dance champions between 94 and 97? Come on, you were there. I was there. You, you, got, you, got the, you were standing there in second place. <laughs> third. Third. Oh, you got third. <laughs> so you were sitting there and they were a little bit above you and you were going... Yeah, we were better than that. We were better. <laughs> Those two Russians whose names were. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get it. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Sorry. Oksana Grischuk yeah, and Platov. Yevgeny yeah, Platov. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm fine. I'd love okay, Sid, over to you, home or away. Home. <laughs> <laughs> Who reached his only world final in 1993 and was later twice a beaten finalist in the world match play? W world final. World final. In twice win it. finalist in the match play. And twice beaten finalist in the match play. He's lost. Uh, He's lost in the final, yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 Ronnie Baxter. No, oh. it wasn't. He was uh, beaten by uh, Phil the Power Taylor in 97 and 2000. Alan Warrener. And uh, Eddie, over to you, home or away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which forward made all seven of his test appearances for the Lions against New Zealand in both 1983 and 1993? Which forward made all seven of his test appearances for the Lions against New Zealand in 1983 and 1993? Peter Winterbottom. Yes, oh, it what is. Yeah, that's it. Right, for the uh, captains, I want you to pick a category from the board. Ooh. For each one, there's three points on offer. Okay, Matt. Missing men. Yeah, Missing pictures. Men. At least we can see that. Missing men. Oh, okay. Missing men. Can you complete Manchester United's starting lineup in oh. the 1999 Champions League final? One point for each. Right, so it's not Ollie and it's not Teddy. Oh, what a shout that is. What a shout that is. Mm. Dennis Irwin, mm -hmm. left back. Nicky Butt, Nicky Butt. centre midfield. Mm -hmm. And Dwight York. Yes, all oh. three. Oh. Yay. 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 This cannot go out live. Phil Thompson got a Man United question <laughs> right. Never live it down. <laughs> Nobody can be allowed out of the studio <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, covers? Right, yeah, Val, equations. Ooh. Team talk, thank you, a bit of team talk. Team talk, please, Sue. Okay. You have 30 seconds to describe a sporting event, and in that time, you have to say the three key phrases that I have on my card here. Right, so phrases, that's more than one word. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically, anything to do with the event I'm about to say. Right. Okay? Just shout them out. 30 please. seconds. Yes. The event is the Open Championship. Green jacket. No. Nope. Uh, oh, no, that's Open. the wrong one. Um, green, um, PGA. No. Nope. Uh, Jack Nicholas. No. Nope. Golf course. No. Nope. St. Andrews, home of yes. golf. Yes, home of golf. Yeah. Um, uh, um, oh, what's the, what's, the, what's the bunker? The famous bunker. Claret. Claret. Claret, Claret jug. jug. Claret. Yes. yes, yes. And the, cor the, the turn corner bunker. The bunker. What's the bunker on the 8th? 17th. 17th. 17th bunker. No. It's the bunker. It's the, 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 the dead man's hole. Sandwich. No. No. <laughs> what's it? Oh. oh. Well done, <laughs> Ever played out of the dead man's hole? <laughs> What's it called? Oh, the roadside bunker. The what? road hole. The road hole. No. Oh. 
<laughs> but you got claret jug and you got St Andrews. The uh, other phrase we're looking for, person, was Nick Faldo. Oh. So, uh, end of that round. Uh, Phil's on 11, but Matt's in front on 13. <laughs> tonight will be stepping up to the Oki where we'll be testing their skills with the arrows. I'll be giving you both a series of questions and the aim of the game is to get as close to the right answer by throwing the darts at the board in front of you and so that we know how you're getting on we're going to ask the famous Sid to uh, do a little bit of commentary for us while they're throwing the darts. Okay guys would you like to... Uh, yeah. Okay, here is the first question. How many different teams have played in the Premier League? How many different teams have played in the Premier League? Yeah? Yeah, I'm just going for that. Okay. Okay, so you're going to throw right, first, uh, George. What are, you going for? what are you actually going to try for? Yeah. Yeah, but then that tells him. Oh, no, it's all right. We're going, we're going, okay. we're going sort of 35. For 35, yeah. 35, 35. Oh, you're going for the same. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Absolute rubbish. 35. <laughs> uh, and how many darts do I get to... Uh, all three. You just keep going. Well, if, you just so go if I, I mean, obviously I wouldn't, but if I got it in two, do I stop or do I... Or just throw it away, but not that way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the follically challenged... <laughs> <laughs> and that's get our endorsement. <laughs> Supposed to be on his team. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Three. Oh, I'll take that. 33 scored. That deserves a big hand. Yeah. Right on that. <laughs> the style of the public school, now the style of the public house. Lovely style. Oh, oh that's 48. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-eight and I'll freeze. Forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is forty-four. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Next question: How many countries won a medal at the two thousand and eight Summer Olympics? How many countries won a medal at the two thousand and eight Summer Olympics? Most of them won a medal, didn't they? Lovely. Right, that's good. That many. Excellent. Okay, who goes first? Go first you can go first this time. Okay. Come on then. Come on then. What are you aiming for? Going, we're going for about 55. Okay. What are you going for? A little bit less than that. Oh, okay, that's... no worries. <laughs> Is he going for the red bit? For the lipstick? No doubt at all. Seven. Now look at the travel line in. The pushes are greener down below. Grouping them quite nicely. The cat. Oh, Mr. Yeah, oh, yeah. Twenty-three. 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 Eyes like that stand you over your ass in Piccadilly Circus. Who's <laughs> <laughs> me? Out of the board, top of dancers oh, in Germany. Can't do more. Thirty. Double fifties handy. So we leave thirty. We don't need any more because he's only twenty-three. No. So this one's going out of the board. Oh, <laughs> that's Sorry, that was a lovely start. Sorry, that was a lovely start. You'd be surprised to know the answer is 87. 87! <laughs> but you win? still get the point. Yeah, you get the point. <laughs> 87! <laughs> next, next one. In how many test matches did Clive Lloyd captain the West Indies? Oh. In how many test oh. matches? Did yes. Clive Lloyd captain the West Indies? Okay. Right. So who's up? Uh, you. You are. Yeah. So here they are again, trying to stop a top mill wash. And what's the plan? Going for the bullseye. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Aim at the red bit, the pedal. Not bad. Dead eye. Put a nice line right through, through the flight sewer. Oh! Double oh, darts. Calm down, Dawes. Calm down now. <laughs> Double four. Oh, no. Six. Forty-seven. Seven. Seven. Oh, yes. Yeah. Forty-seven. Yeah. Forty-seven. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. we'll go nineteen, but there's three and seven is it, down is there. It, is it? No, there's only twenty. 
No, no, no. I'm, so I'm going, we're going a little bit higher than that. We oh went yeah. to about 60. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I've got to get 20s. Go on, go on. Hands. Oh, yes, good stuff. Oh, we've got the drift. Oh, he's got the oh, right. Right. Come on. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 I think it's fair to say Matt's got the point because the answer was 74. 74. <laughs> okay, last question. How many appearances did Philip Seller make for France? How many appearances did Philip Seller make for France? Are you setting him a, a target? Very confident, my man. That's wrong, man. Our man's confident. Well, let's go down. Hit the ball. Got to go high, really, haven't you? Let's be honest. What? Got what? to get up. Get up there, my son. Come on. Here we go. What are you going for? Fifteen. Thirty-one. Oh. Thirty-one. Oh. Terrible. Still dive. a good score, though. Oh, no. Got to get He's missed. He's missed. Got to get trebling, got to get trebling, got to get trebling! Got to get a treble. Go, go what do I do? Treble line in. Treble line in. Treble line in. Treble line in. For a block five foot four with skinny well, arms, it's the best shot. I'm going for 20. Come on, George. Go for 20. Treble 17. Yeah! Treble 5. The answer is you know is the 111 oh, we're after, so yeah. Tuffers gets the point. Yeah. Well done, uh, Captains, and our thanks to uh, Sid for his uh, commentary. But uh, end of the round, and uh, Phil's on 15, but Matt's in front on 18. Yeah. Tonight's show will be decided by a quick fire round. It's the buzz around, and uh, all of the questions are on famous sporting partnerships. Okay, so fingers on the buzzer. Your time starts now. Who opened the batting with Andrew Strauss in all? Cook. Ashes in 2005, Marcus Viscotti, oh. you were looking for. Who partnered Mark Webster in the Welsh team to the World Cup of Darts final in December 2010? Barry Bibb. Yes, it was. Who in 2007 partnered Authorised to win his first Epsom? Thank you, Victoria. Yes. Who partnered Sharon Jones to British National Ice Dance titles on four occasions? No. <laughs> it was Paul <laughs> Ascombe. <laughs> Who was Michael Liner's halfback partner in Australia's World Cup final win? Mick Farr Jones. Yes. Uh, Catherine Granger and Anna Watkins won a world title in which sport? Catherine Granger. Rowing. Yes. In which sport did Scotland's Richard Corsi and Alex Marshall? Uh, Indoor bowls. Bowls, it was, oh. yes. Uh, Nicola, <laughs> Nicola Minicello and Gillian Cook were the first British women to claim a world title in which sport? Sailing. Bobsleigh. Oh. 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 <laughs> so that's the end of the round, the end of the match. It's a win for Matt's team, 21 points to 15. <laughs> Okay, that's it. A big thank you to our guests, to Jane and Eddie, to Phil and Sid, the three of us. We'll be back soon. Do join us then. Bye for now. Setting up a honey trap to catch a hardline anarchist. Spooks is next.